like to thank you all for coming today, and I'd like to thank the people who are also uh, participating via the internet. Um, first, let me introduce myself. My name is Howdy Buis. I'm director of Harvest Plus. Harvest Plus is a program that's developing and disseminating uh, staple food crops with higher mineral and vitamin levels. We call this a uh, strategy of biofortification to help reduce micronutrient malnutrition in developing countries. And I'm based here at IFPRI. Okay, we're here today, as you know, we're here today to talk about uh, golden rice. Uh, golden rice was the subject of a, the presidential symposium of the American Society of Nutrition at the recently concluded experimental biology meetings which were held here in Washington, D.C. You may have picked up a newspaper on your way in that, that described that session. Also concurrent with that presentation, the Golden Rice Humanitarian Board meeting was held here in Washington, D.C. yesterday. So because I knew that everybody would be in town, I invited Ingo Petroikas to organize a seminar here at IFPRI on Golden Rice. And Ingo and his colleagues readily accepted to do that. Now, unfortunately, we found out at the last minute that, that Ingo and his colleague, Dr. S. R. Rao, from the Department of Biotechnology in India, who's also a member of the Humanitarian Board, we found out that they couldn't make it. So they send their regrets, and I hope maybe that they're, that they're also listening by internet. So by way of background, before I introduce uh, our three speakers, I'll mention that Harvest Plus sponsored the first global conference on biofortification last November, which was held at Georgetown University. There are several biofortification projects now being implemented globally. If you want to learn more about those biofortification projects, go to the Harvest Plus website find the link for the first global conference on biofortification and find out more about those projects and about the way forward for biofortification in general. Uh, for clarity, I think I should, I should mention uh, Harvest Plus's participation with the, with the Golden Rice program. First thing I want to say is that Golden Rice is not an activity of Harvest Plus. It's not an activity that Harvest Plus manages. I'm a member of the Golden Rice Humanitarian Board. I've been a member since 2002, even before Harvest Plus was initiated. Um, Harvest Plus has provided funding, continues to provide some funding for Golden Rice, especially where the objectives of the Golden Rice um, uh, the, the research objectives overlap and they contribute to the objectives of Harvest Plus. I'm sure that the funding from Harvest Plus is, is appreciated by the people working on Golden Rice, but Harvest Plus is by no means a major donor to the Golden Rice effort. We do what we can to uh, contribute to the success of Golden Rice, such as holding this seminar so that we can get the word out on what's happening with Golden Rice. So I'm going to, without further ado, let me, I'll introduce all three speakers first. Um, then, um, and then after, afterwards we'll have the question and answer. They'll be speaking for about 45 minutes. And all are members of the Golden Rice Humanitarian Board. First on my right is Peter Beyer, who's a professor of cell biology at the University of Freiburg in Germany. He is a co-inventor, along with Ingo Petroikas, of Golden Rice. And one of these days, Peter is going to tell me the story of why they put Ingo on the cover of Time magazine and not him. <laughs> okay, Adrian DeBoek, next to Peter, is project director of the Golden Rice Project, based at the University of Freiburg. When Peter and Ingo first made the, the scientific discovery and published Golden Rice, Adrian was an executive at Syngenta Corporation. Ingo and Peter discovered that they didn't own the intellectual property 
to the golden rice. They could use it for research purposes, but they had no ability to distribute the golden rice after their scientific discovery. So they went to Syngenta, they met with Adrian, and they started discussing how they could get rights to distribute golden rice. And Adrian made the major effort to convince people at Syngenta and several other corporations who also held the intellectual property to make it available for free use in developing countries. Finally, Gerard Berry is project leader of Erie's Golden Rice Project. The work on golden rice has now moved out of the laboratory. It's moved into the field. Preparations are being made for regulatory approval and delivery to farmers and consumers. Erie is now the point, the major point institution for the golden rice effort and Gerard is the point person at, at Erie for this. Now just last night the, the Gates Foundation uh, released uh, a press release that, uh, that they're um, giving a grant to Erie of 10.2 million dollars over four years for the Golden Rice Project at Erie. So Gerard will t be telling us about activities at Erie. <laughs>